All right, percussionists, in this video, we're going to be filling out a key chart and some note names for our first set of notes on the bells. We're gonna go over our note names for our first scale. We're gonna draw them exactly as they would appear in our music. And then finally, we are going to fill in our key chart to help us find them on the, the keyboard, the mallet instrument that we're using, whether it's the bells or the xylophone, all that fun stuff. Let's get down to it. So first note is C. In order to draw any note on our staff, we're gonna to have to draw a treble clef. It tells us exactly what notes we're playing. We're gonna draw a straight line starting from above the staff, down all the way to the bottom line. We're then gonna draw a curved line from the top to the second line, making a little bit like the letter P, but we're gonna continue that line down curve loop, up, down, and around, and end it with a little tail on the bottom. Now, if you didn't get it right the first time, that's totally okay. Erase it and try again. That's why we only use pencils in band, because we're going to be making mistakes and we want to correct them. All right, C is gonna be in the third space from the bottom, you see that we're learning. So we're gonna go one space, two space, three space. We're gonna draw a whole note, our open circle note, and it's very important when we look at notes drawn on spaces that we touch the line above and the line below, but we don't dip below it. You see I dipped a little bit there, so I wanna be very precise. So I'm going to erase that and pay more attention this time when I go to the bottom, make sure I don't cross over. Ah, perfect. So, our C that we're gonna be playing, which is our high C, if you wanna write that in, we'll write a little high next to it. It is going to be our furthest note to the right on this chart, but we have to be able to find C wherever it is. So there's two ways that you could find it. And we're gonna be using the first way right now. So, first things first, you're gonna find on the accidentals, or the upper register, these guys, the set of three. Find the set of three, found them. You're gonna go all the way to the right, you're gonna go down and to the right, and go over one more. This will make a little bit more sense when you look at your bell kit. And the second way that we use to find C is a little bit easier, but on this chart, you can't use it right away. We're gonna go ahead and fill this in to give us a visual on where C is. Next note, B. We're gonna need another treble clef. There's three types of clefs that exist, mainly, there's many others, but the main ones are treble, C clef, and bass clef. So our B is gonna be the third line from the bottom. We're going to go one, two, three, draw a whole note, making sure that we don't touch the line above or below because we are on a line. Only wanna to touch, you know, kind of one line at a time. So we got this middle line, here we got splitting up these two. So a B is going to be, find the group of three, all the way to the right, down and to the right, it is our second highest key here. You can find B so many different ways. You could find it where I just showed you. You can find C and then move over to the left one. So many different ways. Our next note is A, another treble clef. We are going to draw A in the second space. One space, two space. All right, it's important to be exact and very neat when we do this because when you ask me where A is or where B is, I'm going to ask you to look at your key chart that's in your folder and you will answer yourself. So A is going to be one note over from B. It's this guy right here. As we're reading music, we will get much more familiar with where these keys are and you won't even need to check these. But if you need to check them for the first couple of days or even the first couple of weeks, it's totally okay. We wanna make sure we learn quick, but learning correctly is better than learning quickly. G, another treble clef. 
when we play bells, we use the treble clef. Flute players, clarinet players, saxophone players, they all use the treble clef. It means we're playing some higher notes in general. G. We're going to be doing the second line from the bottom, another whole note. G is one over from A. All right, going to F. The tuba, the trombone, and the baritone are the only instruments in our band right now that are not going to use the treble clef. They use the bass clef. F is going to be the very bottom space right here. And F, the best way to find F is to find the group of three all the way to the left and then right down to the left, a little bit of diagonal. That is going to be F. Fill these in. Color inside the lines, please. I think we could handle color inside the lines, but it's okay. Very nice. Next note is E. Go ahead. Nice treble clef. Don't forget that tail. It's very important to get this tail. If you're not getting them right the first time, or if you're not drawing them quickly, that's super cool. We are going to draw so many of these that you will become a pro when we are done. E is going to be the very bottom line on our staff right here. And it is going to be finding the group of two on the right, bottom right. You can do it that way, or you can find F and go over one. So many different ways to find these keys. Second to last note is D. We're going to draw a treble clef. All right, D exists a little bit below the staff but it doesn't float. Check out how I write this. We, oops, gather our papers here, are drawing it right below. It's actually touching, where's my pencil? This top line right here. If it floats into infinity, it gets a little bit harder to tell what it is. So we wanna make sure it touches that bottom staff. Our picture, it's going to be directly in the center of the group of two. Perfect. Our last note is our low C. You can go ahead and write low. We're going to draw our treble clef, and oh man, I got one last thing to teach you here. Oop, I got a little warning. Low batteries. Our low C is going to be even lower than D. And what we need to do is actually add a line on. So we're going to draw a short line. Not too long, but not too short, but just like that. And we're going to draw a circle on that, our whole note. That is C. And this, we're going to draw an arrow, is called a ledger line. When the staff is not large enough and we need to go lower or higher, we draw our own lines and work notes around that. It's called ledger lines. And our low C is going to be, find the group of two, bottom left. That's the easiest way to find C. And so, we should have all of our note names, note pictures, and key charts. Let's take a look at them from top to bottom. We got C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then finally high C. This is our first scale on the bells. All right? So remember, always have a pencil with you. Put your name up on top. Put this in your folder, and I will see you at lessons.